So the wait is finally over. Android 15's developer preview one is here and we've installed on our Pixel device. The changes, of course, is a developer preview one. So we don't have the major visual changes, but still some of them are here. So we're going to talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The code name as expectedly Vanilla Ice Cream. Android 15, Android V, or you can say Vanilla Ice Cream. So you can see the Easter egg is also changed. It's looking like V and this is the major change only. If you hold this thing, for a few of the seconds you will get the same android 14 style ui i mean that spaceship spaceship game i guess and you can use this thing you can play this in case you want to nothing else no extra other major changes whatever i found so far in this easter egg including this one new feature which is available here is in the notification section notification cooldown if you remember this thing was already included in android 14 qpr update but then it was gone but we have this so as you can see gradually lower the notification volume when you get many successive notifications from the same app so you have three options available you can apply to all notifications or you can apply to only the conversations and you can simply don't use this thing second one is regarding the many messages so if you get same chat messages if you have if you get a lot of messages from the same chat in a short period of time it will simply gradually lower the volume for that and you also have the option to don't use this in case you are not satisfied you are not into these things this thing which i will not be able to show you is regarding the haptics so you can see if you turn on brightness to the bottom you will get a little bit of haptic feedback there i think so it is available by default you don't have to enable it by any extra options if we are talking about haptics, one new thing is also added in the vibration and haptic section, you will see keyboard vibration option. It was not there. It's included here in this keyboard vibration section, sound and vibration settings, keyboard vibration. So you'll get some vibrations or haptics while typing on a Google keyboard. And I guess almost every keyboard if you have this option enabled. This is one of the features which is included here. And of course, does not matter a lot. One more thing is in the quick settings panel, you will get the screen recording option, which was of course there, but you have the option to choose between entire screen and a single app. And actually this feature was also present in the previous update of Android 14 QPR. But in this case, uh, in some of the other builds, it was removed or, but yes, it's already there, the Android 15's developer preview one. So you can simply record any particular app screen or you can choose your recording to the entire screen. It, it's totally up to you. It's optional. And this is how the UI is looking like in case you want to explore that. Including this, one more thing which I found here is regarding the Bluetooth dialog box. If you open internet, you can see this kind of pop up there. But in the previous update, Android 14, if you open Bluetooth, you have to simply turn on or you can simply turn on or turn off from there. But now with the latest Android 15's developer preview one, you have this pop up or dialogue available where you can simply pair new device with one click. Another thing is which I found in launcher is the padding. If you're able to notice here, some marginal differences are here. I'm not exactly sure if it is in my case, but because I used Android 14 too, the difference between the first row or second row or the third row is not exactly like that. It was, there was a less difference, less space between them in the previous Android 14, but with Android 15's developer preview one, there's a lot of space or you can say padding or margins are adjusted here, which I found so far. This was about the Pixel Launcher, although we don't have the option to turn off at a glance widget yet. Another thing is the volume panel. It was also changed with Android 14's QPR update. So it was not there in the Android 14 stable yet, but in Android 15, most likely this feature will be available there. So it's not a big thing, but because volume panel is now customized or changed as compared to the normal stock one, that is why I just wanted to let you know. Including that there are no major, no major changes or extra things in the sound and vibration section. So this is it. One more thing is if you move on to this option, for example, if you hold any app and go to app info, but you will find the four stop icon. It's all, it was already there, but the icon is now a bit changed here. Nothing else. If you see it clearly, let me show you by moving here. As you can see, the four stop icon is changed. It was also changed with Android 14's QPR update because a lot of users did not use the Android 14 beta updates or QPR updates. That is why I'm here to show you. In software updates, the OTA update section is also a bit changed. It was, it was like that in Android 14 QPR update, then the new update came and this page was not there and it's now same here. So I just hope this kind of page will stay till the stable Android 15. We have the Android 15 developer preview one already available. We will get Android 15's developer preview two next month. Then we will move into the beta options. 
Other options have we have touch sensitivity. It was already there, like screen protector mode, at least in my Pixel device. But it was not in the touch sensitivity section. It was already there in the sound and vibration section or basically display section. But you can simply move on to display, and now we have the touch sensitivity separate sub menu available to enable this option called as screen protector mode, which simply increases the touch sensitivity and improve touch when using a screen protector. Including this, one more thing is in the else. For example, what I found, no major changes. No, nothing. No major change at all. These were the only changes which I found here as it is just a developer preview one. So we are expecting some new changes in upcoming builds. Most of the times you don't have a major changes in developer one, developer preview one or two. You had some extra things in beta updates. So stay tuned. These were things I just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.